John, thanks for sitting down with Rangers TV. Just firstly, how has the last week or so been for you? Hectic, but great fun. Tremendous, great to be back home. Of course, John Bennett stood down from his position as chairman earlier this month. I'm sure you'd like to wish John well and thank him for, for his contribution to the role. Yeah, the club will never be able to pay John for his commitment over 10 years, but the last uh, couple of years for his chairmanship in particular. And of course, we wish him well and look forward to seeing him back. Why did you decide to step forward following John's departure? I've never really been far away from the club. I've uh, been very close to John, George Leighton, George Taylor, Douglas, um, all the guys. I've never lost touch, so um, when they asked me to, if I could step in and help short term, being retired, I have the time to do it properly. And uh, it was an honour, so no hesitation. You obviously first became involved with the club back in 2015. How does the club compare now to, to what you walked into back then? Well, it's unrecognisable, you know. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's just, uh, for anybody to compare it, it's just ridiculous because what we inherited all those years ago was just awful. Um, the infrastructure, I mean, when you look at the work that's been done to the stadium even recently, which unfortunately we got the timing wrong, but to create a facility for a disabled fan is just wonderful. And uh, the general upkeep of the stadium and investment in it, it's been unrecognisable to what it was all those years ago. In terms of a tiling, how long are you expecting to be the chairman? Is this an interest, a role that interests you longer term? I suppose the, the short answer is as long as it takes, uh, but I, I don't want to be at longer term. We want we priority to bring in a chief exec and in turn a chairman, uh, and I can handle that for a while until we get someone, uh, but I don't want to be long term, no. You mentioned obviously appointing a CEO there. Could you offer an insight into how far along the club are in appointing a successor to James? Yeah, um, certainly. What happens is we were almost there uh, and the candidate went through late in the process, which is absolutely acceptable. It's, that's not none of our business. Um, but it sort of set us back. But what you do is go back again to certain other candidates that were there. We can pick up with them again. And, and we've opened it up to some more, more people by uh, employing a recruitment agent. And we'll do that now, that's now in place. And of course, the, the club's largest shareholder, Dave King, is, has recently challenged the club to call it an EGM. Have you had any discussions with Dave just regarding his comments? No, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, well, not as far as I'm aware, no, there hasn't been discussions about EGM because Dave, Dave knows as a major shareholder and a, as a strong shareholder in other businesses, it's the only the person that wants the EGM calls the EGM. The current shareholders have no wish to have an EGM. And it certainly would distract from all the focus and the things we need to do at the club. We're having an AGM in another couple of months, I can't remember the exact date. And basically, if the major theatre want to ask questions, you can ask them the AGM. So an AGM would be a cost pointless. And of course, Dave has spoken about investment from further afield. What can you tell us about the, the current financial state of play at the club? The current uh, state of financial play is that the club's in solid ground. That, the accounts are due to come out quite soon and then there's the AGM. So it become apparent then, I'm, I can't really speak in detail at the moment, but it's very solid. And as for foreign investment uh, from anywhere, literally, uh, the board are open to any people that approach them. We have approaches in the past and we'll get them in the future. It needs to be right for the club, it needs to be right shareholding, it needs to be understood that no one person can own the club. We want to keep the club uh, within the control of a number of people. And in terms of matters on the pitch, what conversations have you had with the manager, Philippe Clement? We had a great meeting with the manager last week, George Latham and I, and uh, he's very impressive. He's, uh, he's, his plans that he's trying to put in place, his signing policies have been starting to pay for he's, he's, um He's bringing his age of the squad down um, and he's trying to look towards the player trading model being better. Um, what I do want to say is that the manager's been left answering a lot of questions in the press. It's been really unfair because we're, so we're here to help with that now. And, and at the training centre and the, the football club, football side is definitely about the manager. We're not here to interfere in that at all. We're here to support that. How important is, is sustainability and success both on and off the pitch for the, the short and long-term future of this club? It's, it's the same for any business. Um, the hardest thing with the football, as, as a supporter as well as a season ticket holder, the hardest thing is to separate the emotional wish to succeed with the realistic thing about being a business. But as chairman, I have to take that hat off and, and concentrate on the business. 
And it's difficult that to any business has to be sustainable and you have to know your limits and you have to make sure you get your proper money in, be it from uh, ticket holders, season ticket, um, sponsorship, TV. These are all the things that dictate how much money you have. But the biggest one nowadays is almost certainly player trading uh, and that's a challenge that we face now. And just lastly, what would your message be to the supporters? My message to the supporters is thank you very much. Uh, for your patience in uh, being at Hamden. And I do have to thank uh, the SFA and the SPFL uh, for helping us uh, for that, Mike, Mike Mulroney and Neil Doncaster. Uh, they were very helpful. Uh, I know the history and we've had debates over the years with the authorities, but we can't argue with this one. But the big message to supporters is that the manager's on, on, on the case. The manager is an impressive guy, he's got a signing policy. We're moving forward, we're here to support him. And the, the last couple of results and the way we've played have been very encouraging. So I thank the supporters. Um, you never question them.